Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to Jenna's Jamboree with me, Jenna Coburn. And if you saw on social media earlier, it's time to don your tweed suit and your deerstalker hat and channel your inner Sherlock Holmes, for I am after your mask singer deductions. So tell me, who's that behind the mask? Who is Mushroom? Who is Robo Bunny? Who is Donuts? And who is Firework? Send me your guesses by heading over to the Facebook page and commenting on my post or send us a message. I'll read them out live on air because in the words of Isa from Still Game, people have to know. So, the mask singer. Let's start with Mushroom. Some of the clues were female, mellow and carefree, wants to bring peace and love, man. Likes to start new things and try new things. Try new life, sorry. Take many forms. Right, this is what really stumped me. The clock that had 0128 and there was a gavel. So we've received some guesses. Um, Catherine Tate, Charlotte Church, Jane Horrocks. But the name that has appeared the most is Jane MacDonald because she was on the cruise ship singing along but I'm not going to lie, this one has me absolutely stumped. For now, though. Keep your guesses coming in and let's solve this age-old question of who's that behind the mask? That was a poor attempt. Apologies. Right, so we've gabbed about Mushroom. Next up, we'll discuss Robo Bunny. Now, let's put our heads together and crack this Robo Bunny case. Here are some of the clues. Right, so male... Tough guy, but that's just their shell. Real softy and is here to control, alt, delete what we know about them. And then there's a QR code that was on the back of them. I might be made of metal, but that doesn't stop me making a splash. Right, what's awesome about this mass Singer, right, is we've received a fair few messages, but it's the same name that we've received every time. And that's Mark Feely from Westlife. And I have to agree, guys, it sounds so much like him, even though the clues don't really give away. It's the voice when you hear him singing, and then he's trying to disguise it by going really high and squeaky and making funny voices. Right, me and you are joining forces to solve the mystery of the year, who's that behind the mask? Next up, we're talking donuts. Right, so this is the clues. Male, speedy, run ice rings around the competition... Do best to jockey for position, as well as being sweet, is also being savoury. Right, if you've seen the performances, it's fair to say that they're not a professional singer or dancer, or a performer in in that kind of capacity. However, it's fair to say by the guesses that we've received that they are a footballer. And I've received guesses for two scousers, and they are for Michael Owen, and Robbie Fowler. Me personally, I'm leaning more towards Michael Owen because I know he likes horses and he owns a few. But that's that's pretty much as far as I'm going with that. <laughs> and last but not least, we'll be talking about fireworks. So who who do we reckon there? There's still time left to get your guesses to me. Just head over to the Facebook page and comment on the post or send us a message before we discuss who we think the firework is off of the mass Singer. Right, let's crack on with this last mass Singer. It's firework, and here are the clues. Female, pocket rocket, short attention span. Reality of being a firework is that you're always looking for a spark. The ice skates and helmet were under the bed. Jumped from sport to sport when younger, so that was swimming... Jumping from swimming to running to gymnastics. Won a gold medal once. Ended up taking part in some games later in life. And there was two... What was it? Two lies and a truth. And I'm thinking one of these are the truths. So it's, I don't like waste, but I have been guilty of dumping. I made a real impression with something I wore. So this has proven to be quite a toughie. And the guesses are coming in from for quite a few different people. Like Kerry Katona. Hayley Tamadin, Melanie Sykes and Michelle Keegan. And I'll be 
completely honest with you, I have not the foggiest. I've not got a Scooby-Doo. But I think we all need more clues. I think we do. Thanks so much for joining me here at Radio Salter today. I'll be back next week with either more of the same or something maybe different. Who knows, it's still a week away, but I'll have more mass singer. We've got to crack the codes. We've got to find out who they are. Catch you next week. Bye!